Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for Real Living here, and thanks for watching my videos. And today is April the 7th of 2017, and coming on to do a couponer chat with you guys today about copying internet printable coupons and uh, buying internet printable coupons and why it's wrong, okay? <laughs> and um, I don't have any problem saying that you shouldn't be doing it. I don't do it and um, I don't think anybody should. So um, I get a lot of questions from new couponers. They come to me um, to ask, you know, I saw so-and-so do this. Is this right? And that kind of thing. And I made a video a few days ago about a bad um, uh, couponing behavior to put my opinion out there for people um, and people can decide for themselves where they want to <laughs> draw their line in bad couponing behavior. And, um, you know, I'm not out to tell anybody what to do um, or how to live their life. I'm uh, um, providing an opinion for people um, and information for people. Um, you know, I get asked on Instagram mostly. Um, but people come here on my YouTube channel and ask me about um, buying internet printable coupons. And all I can say to people is, is I don't do it and I can't recommend anybody. And I won't. Um, I, I, it, it's just wrong. Okay. Um, so I kind of wanted to explain what has happened and um, and what could potentially happen in the future to more people. Okay, so in case you don't know, there there are people out there who have um, written little computer programs to run or whatever or instructions on how to get um, as many unlimited prints of coupons off of coupons.com that you want on one computer. And those people then are selling that information in a little computer program to other people so that they can do that. And um, is that right or wrong um, to manipulate the uh, print procedure with coupons.com? Uh, um, that's not for me to decide. I don't, I don't think that that's too ethical <laughs> of a behavior, but um, you know, that's up to coupons.com to uh, prosecute people over that if they want to and stop that. Um, what happens is, is that people are then taking that information on how to get multiple prints and they are literally making, going to coupons.com and printing off a lot of valid coupons. Now, the first time that they get that coupon and print it, it is a completely valid coupon. Okay. And they have the unique code on them and whatever. What they're doing is, is then they're putting three of them per page creating PDF files, and then they'll sell them in lumps of, I don't know, 20 or 50 um, coupons to somebody. And they will email that uh, file to someone. And presumably the person is paying um, using PayPal or some uh, electronic pay payment system like that to pay the person for it. Um, the problem comes in do you trust this person that you're buying these coupons from that those coupons, those 20 coupons that you just purchased from them, that you're the only one who has those coupons? Okay. And are you only printing them out one time? All right. You don't know if that person took that same 20 coupons and sold them to 50 different people. All right. And so there, now there's 50 copies of those exact same coupons. Is that right? That's, that's just not right, okay? And um, now, could there be people out there who are legitimately pulling, you know, a hundred of the coupons, legitimate copies of the coupons, and they're only selling at one time? Yeah, that could be happening. But what happens on the end when the person buys the coupons? So this person bought the coupons from that person, and they printed them out, use them themselves, but they decided to make some cash and they sold them to somebody also. They sold a copy of it. So the person who's printing them is trying to justify in their head that I only sell one copy of each of the coupons that I created. But then what happens after they sold it? They have no clue because you could turn around and sell 
that same PDF to a lot of other people. And how many times is a person printing out the copy that they bought? You know, you buy as, as, as few as you can from this person who created this PDF with 20, but I want to buy a hundred of this product, you know, so that person then prints it out five times. So they have a hundred coupons. Okay. That's not right. All right. That, that is in the class of illegal behavior. Okay. And you can be prosecuted over that. Um, so, um, Quotient Technology, the parent company of coupons.com, they are not a little mom and pop company. They are a corporation that is traded publicly on the New York Stock Exchange. They're a large company. They make a lot of money, okay? <laughs> and they have the power to hire attorneys and come after people who are doing this. And they did to a woman in Ohio recently and made a settlement with her. Um, because this is what she was doing. She had that software. She was printing up lots of coupons and selling them to people. Okay. Now, whether she was making, selling duplicate copies of the same thing, I have no clue. But, you know, now she's banned for life from using coupons.com. All right. Um, but they very easily, and who knows what they actually did. Did she have to pay them restitution? Or, and, you know, they could have prosecuted her enough for fraud um, to go to jail. Because once something crosses state lines, and I think this goes for uh, computer use also, not just through the U.S. mail, if, you know, especially sending something through the mail that's illegal, you know, you're getting in the federal crimes, not just state crimes, okay, once they cross state lines. And so you think, oh, no big deal. But what if you bought from that woman? Because um, I'm sure <laughs> with a court order, um, they, she had to hand over people that she sold coupons to. Okay. And I'm sure she had a nice little list of who was her best customers. Okay. What if you bought from her and now coupons.com has your name and they and coupons.com wants to go after you. Okay. And come and find you and see what you're up to. What are you doing with these PDFs, uh, printable coupons that this lady created? And so that drags you into it. All right. And so you, you have to think about those kind of consequences that it's just not you buying some coupons from some unknown person on the Internet. OK. And it's not like that. Um, I, I looked at some printable coupons and this um, Kimberly Clark, who owns Kleenex and Huggies and stuff, if you get one of those out and read, um, theirs had the harshest words on it out of any of them that I could find. Um, reproduction, alteration, proliferation, or sale of this coupon or its contents is strictly prohibited. Civil or criminal penalties up to $2 million and or imprisonment may apply. And it says void if copy, scan, transferred, auctioned, reproduce, uh, purchased, sold. Okay, so it, it's, it's a problem. It's a real problem. And it is a crime. And that's what I want people to understand and um, take into consideration if you're thinking about just even photocopying, printing out some coupons and be like, oh, I'm mad at coupons.com um, now because I can only get two prints because it requires my telephone number. And, and so you're going to put them on the photocopier and photocopy. I mean, you think that it's a victimless crime, but it is not. And... Uh, you got to think twice about doing something like that. Um, and what happens is, think about it in these terms, that because you want to have a lot more coupons, the person buying wants to have all these coupons. It creates a market for people to write that program so that they can get multiple prints of, a, of coupons so that they can sell them. It, it, the people buying initiates the problem because it creates the market for there to be people doing it, doing this illegal behavior. And, and everybody involved in it is participating in illegal behavior. And um, it's just this vicious circle. And, you know, how many times have you been like really upset because you saw someone post a really hot coupon for $4 off of Huggies on coupons.com and by the time you got there, it's already out of print. 
Well, you know why it's out of print? Because these people have these computer programs that are generating all of the coupons. They're taking up all of the prints that are available and then they're turning around and selling them for a profit. And that's how it hurts other people, just the average person who wants to go to coupons.com and get a $4 Huggies coupon because they need some diapers, okay? And it, it creates this big vicious cycle. And even purchasing them, and you think that you trust this person who's doing this, it, it just creates a cycle. And then, you know, people who are trying to do the right thing and just print off two coupons, they're not even there for them to print, okay? Um, and, and why do you think that coupons.com is changing? And eventually, you're going to be forced into using your cell phone number and getting a text message from coupons.com. You know, I still have on my computer at home, I can ignore putting in my phone number and I can still print without putting in my phone number. But that's going to go away one of these days. They're going to make it completely you know, and then I'm going to be stuck with, I have one cell phone, one phone number. And, and so I'll only have two prints, but right now I can get three prints. Okay. <laughs> and that's, but this, they're having to do this to cut down on this fraudulent behavior of, um, these people with these computer programs that are just generating all these, comp these, uh, coupons and everything. Um, yeah, and on top of the fact, um, if if you want to talk about, you know, these, you know, like Kimberly Clark is a huge corporation or P&G or, or Unilever, and they, it doesn't matter. They can afford that, you know, I photocopied these coupons, you know, five times. It, they can afford that. But, you know, built into their whole system, you know, they may allow 10,000 coupons to be printed with the expectation that only, you know, uh, 500 of them are actually going to be used, not, you know, 5,000 of them are going to be used. All right. Um, anyways, that's just some food for thought. It's my opinions and I'll talk to you guys later.